The recent indictment of the village administrator underscores the need to shine a light on the inconsistencies and falsehoods within Mayor Henyard's administration. If a person can lie on their own financials, what do you think they're doing for the village? It's crucial to have trustees who are dedicated to accountability and public spending. Shedding light on mismanagement helps ensure that taxpayer funds are used efficiently and effectively for the benefit of the community. With the latest rounds of federal subpoenas, one thing they mentioned was checks written to cash. It asks for all records, including personnel files, wage and tax statements, time and attendance, records of work performed, contracts, and checks written to cash. Checks written to cash. I just like to reiterate, um, if anybody watched the March meeting when we had discussion about these items and those, uh, the $65,700 came up, if you go to one hour and 35 minutes, our finance director said that the items had been paid in cash. The other invoice that they pay in cash, we have um, receipts for that as well. So we're not not paying the vendor. If you all vote on it tonight, they will be paid. It is already on the warrant list. And we're still waiting on the receipts. And if they had been paid in cash, why is this vendor still contacting us asking for payment? So when people go and say things, everything is recorded. And it goes back to our transparency and lack thereof that we're not getting information that we requested. Because as soon as she said it, I instantly raised my eye. When we start paying $65,000 in cash anywhere. And then for this vendor to still contact us, emailing us saying that she hasn't been paid, really draws concern, where's the money?